The perfume card trick. For this, you will need a lovely lady and uh, a deck of cards. Very easy to do. It's a great icebreaker as well. Very, very easy. So you say to a lovely lady, oh, that's a beautiful scent that you have there. Uh, that, that's beautiful. Uh, I love a lady that wears uh, just the right amount of perfume. Uh, would, you, would you be so kind to help me with a trick? It's very, very simple. You see, I need, I need that scent to help me out. I'll show you what I mean. Please take any card you'd like. They pull out a card. Please take that card, look at it, and uh, let's, let's personalize a little bit. Give that a little rub. Give it a little rub on your neck there. Yes, right there on the perfume. Good. You see, I have extra sensory perception. Uh, I have stronger senses than a normal person. Uh, not ESP, extra sensory perception. Don't know what I was trying to say there. Uh, but I have extra strong senses. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Will you do me a favor, ma'am? Please put the card back in the deck. Place it back in. Will you make sure I don't have your card sticking out anywhere? All I have to do is get that little sniff. Yeah, it's clearly in the deck. I saw you put it in there. My eyes, extra, extra strong. I'm going to look through the cards. Not just look, but smell a little bit. It's not up there. Don't smell the perfume. Don't smell the perfume. Wait. Write it. Down to two. Was your card the ace of clubs? Sweet. Now there is just a little bit of setup for this trick here, so you'll need to sneak off and do this ahead of time. The setup is simply dividing the deck of cards between black cards and red cards. You'll see on this half, all red, on this half, all black. You're set. That's all you need to do. The presentation is all your own. That's just one that a friend uh, did for me at a convention one time. And um, all you have to do is make sure that your volunteer, whoever they are, takes a card from the top half of the deck. So they take a card. You go through. People are generally pretty quick at this. If they don't, you can make some joke. And also, uh, it's perfectly okay if they take it from the clearly the bottom of the deck. As long as you know which half of the deck they took it from. It's when it's in the middle that it gets a little confusing. So you let them take a card. Let's just pretend that they cooperate and take one off the top of the deck. They show that to their friends and you do the little gag. Uh, you want their scent. Okay. In this case, I use scent. Um, sometimes I have them just kiss the card or, or whatever. What, just mark the card in some way. All right, so you have them do that. While they're doing that, and you can make some jokes about it, if they picked a card from the top half, you don't want them to put the cards in the top half of the deck. So you push over the majority of the cards, I would say more than half, and let them place it in towards the bottom 25%, 30% of the deck. Okay? That means they'll be placing, let's say in this case, their black card in the bottom part of the deck, which is the red. If they had taken a card out of the bottom, you just do the opposite. You spread out the top part of the deck. Place it in. So they place it in. It really goes in. You bring it up. Now it's just purely acting and whatever you can come up with. And uh, clearly I see right away four clubs. Uh, but you want to, you know, sniff the cards. You want to listen to the cards. Oh, they're whispering. They're whispering. You can use that sense. I've done that before. I've, I've done this with actually almost every sense where I just feel the cards and I'm, I'm glimpsing out of the corner of my eye where their card is and uh, you can see how coordinated I am with that. Uh, but you just you feel, feel, feel. Uh, that one feels just like your card. Whatever. Just come up with your own presentation. All you have to do, divide the deck into red and black. Make sure they pick one color and they put it back in the opposite color, and you'll be set to do my favorite card trick of all time.